Tonight, a new spotlight on two of the coldest missing persons cases in Cleveland. A teenage girl in 2007 who vanished from Cleveland's west side. A 39 year old man who disappeared nearly 20 years ago, also from the west side. Tonight, their families held a news conference to bring attention to their cold cases to try to bring their loved ones home. Our crime and justice correspondent Lydia Spara reports. The last time we know she was seen was on July 4th of 2007. That was 16 years ago, and Ashley Summers was only 14 years old. Today, she would be 30. She went to a pool party near West 44th Street when she vanished. She was last seen by her uncle, who is now serving time in prison for rape and prostitution charges. He's never been charged in this case. Summers went missing near the time Amanda Berry and Gina de Jesus were kidnapped. They were found 10 years later. So when they said there's a third girl that's, you know, been found, we all thought it was Ashley at first. That third girl, Michelle Knight. Jennifer Summers says she was elated for Michelle's family. You know, it's devastating. It hits you hard because you wish it was you. You know, it's, it's been 19 years now since Mike was last seen. And... Um, He's greatly missed. You know, there's, there, there isn't a day that goes by that we don't think about him. Michael Hodge, 39, had walked this street many times. That's what a neighbor told me. The night he disappeared, he was at a party at this house at West 172nd and Puritus. A longtime resident says back in 2004, the people who lived here were allegedly into drugs. Mike went missing as he rode his bike away from this home. He oftentimes would also be seen hopping trains, and witnesses say the night he disappeared, they thought they saw him near the tracks. He's never been heard from again. There was guys that were with him that night, and some of them are no longer with us now. So there are people that were with them. People, Mike's brother Bill says, might have the answers they need. The family says Mike was no saint but they have had to live nearly two decades not knowing whether their brother is dead or alive. You can see the pain and suffering in their face. So it's like reliving a funeral every year. We would ask people to come and gather, and I, I didn't want to be part of it anymore. It was too tough. It's been tough, but they are all here for answers, closure, and healing. 16 years is a long time, and someone out there knows something. If the case is open, we would just like to, uh, you know, get the answers. Wow, so much suffering there. Now, both families say neither one of their loved ones would ever stay away from their families for this amount of time. Now, while they remain hopeful, Hodge's family fears something horrible has happened to him. Ashley's family, of course, Lena, is hoping for that miracle. Well, we have seen the miracle in Cleveland. I'm we sure have. they are hopeful that they could see one too. All right. Thanks so much, Lydia.